Sure. Um, let's go to... Let's Eliana. bring in Eliana Jolkowski, who is a UCLA medical student, a third year UCLA medical student. And Eliana, you describe yourself as a Jewish Asian American. Yes. So this yes, hits I'm... close to home for you. Yeah, take it away. Tell us your reaction to this chaos that's unfolding on your campus. Yeah, I'm a proud Asian American Jewish woman and a third year med student and a um, a firm Zionist and what is happening on my campus is absolute insanity and chaos and I don't know how the school has let it come to this point. Yeah. Um, law enforcement should have came on day one because on day one these protesters were chanting for an intifada which means violence against Jews and um, you know this isn't about free speech. Free speech they can call for a ceasefire. That's free speech. They can ask the school to divest from sure. Israeli companies. That's free speech. We're calling for an intifada, death to Zionists, aka death to me right. and other a lot of other Jewish students um, that far across the line. So it, the school it's, waited until there was absolute mayhem yeah. and riots to send in law enforcement. It, indeed, and Ileana, that's one of the reasons why you say your parents are worried, a lot of your friends are checking on you, you're scared for your physical safety. I know one of your friends, uh, one of the protesters, uh, pushed her off a ledge. She almost was really hurt. Uh, people have been assaulted, so it's not like that it has been peaceful up till now. That is not true. But I want you to speak uh, a little bit about the impact of social media in the whole thing, because there's a lot of propaganda, you say, that is being spread. I explain what you're reading on social media and how the protesters have been putting out stuff that just is not true. There's a lot of propaganda on social media. Um, TikTok has been a major brainwashing machine yep. in this pro-Palestinian movement, especially. I've also been seeing, on, seeing it on Instagram, people saying that um, Zionists are racist, white supremacists, baby killers. Um, they're calling me a, a white colonizer. It, I'm, you know, Asian American Jew. And so this is truly a cult mentality. And um, I, a lot of students are sharing really, really you know, just false information on social media, and it's spreading like wildfire. Well, when, when you look at what's happening at the campus right now, do you have a sense of how many of these are students, how many are outsiders? And they do seem pretty organized. They actually know what they're doing. They seem to have gone through this. There's different layers. They obviously have the equipment. Do you get the sense of how many are actually students? Um, I have a sense that a lot of these people are not students. Um, I saw three buses on the first day of the encampment. I don't know where they came from, um, but I town? checked out the encampment myself, and a lot of these people looked um, like, some of them looked like they were in their 40s or 30s. Um, these aren't all students. Eliana, quickly before we let you go, if this continues, will you stay at UCLA? Well, I'm not going to let these hateful anti-Semites -Semit push me out of school um, because that's what they want. They want all the Zionists to leave, but that's I right. stand proud and tall in my Zionism, which means that I believe that Israel has the right to exist. And um, in America, we should be allowed right. to think whatever we want without being bullied or harassed. So, um, no, I'm not going to cave in to their harassment. Um, I think um, UCLA needs to really step up and keep their Jewish students safe because this was a total disaster um, and um, right. you know, it resulted in physical trauma, physical and emotional trauma for Jewish students. Yeah, Ilana, thanks so, so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.